Hello YouTube and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday where I show you jewelry making demonstrations. Today we're going to be making a wire necklace and first I'm going to go over the tools we need. We need flat nose pliers, we need snips, I have two different kinds of snips here. We need the chain nose or needle nose pliers and we need the round nose pliers. And now the materials needed. We need some 20 gauge copper wire and we need some beads. So I have assorted shapes of six millimeter beads. I have the cube, I have the rondelle, I have the round. So I have three different shapes and I'm just going to alternate those. Now I am going to put my bead on first and I'm going to start with a roundelle, a rondelle and I'm going to work off of the spool. I'm going to put my 90 degree turn in that wire. So I'm going to leave a little excess and I'm also going to leave a little uh, space between the bend and the bead so that I can wrap that excess around. And I'm leaving so much because I want there to be you know, a pretty pattern. So I'm going to loop that around my pliers and I do that by putting it between the prongs, wrapping it halfway, moving it onto the bottom and wrapping it onto the bottom. And you can see I have this circle here. I'm going to use the flat nose pliers to hold my circle so that it stays flat. And I'm just going to start wrapping the remaining piece around the straight part and you can decide like how many loops you want if you want like three loops or two loops around that so I've wrapped that wire until I got the end all the way around and I keep them close and if I need to I can push them together using my flat nose pliers and then I'm going to push that bead up to that and I'm going to leave quite a bit of excess on the other end so at this point I'm going to have to snip that off I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave quite a bit because I don't want to ruin it by cutting it too short. Because I've already got this ready, I'm gonna set this bowl to the side, and then I'm just gonna do the same process on the other side. I'm gonna leave a little space so I can wrap it around like that, and then I'm gonna put my bend. So I've got that much room to wrap it around. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the round nose pliers. I'm going to put them up against that bend, wrap it around the top, and I'm going to try and keep it down there at the very bottom where it's the thickest. Go around there, flatten that out. Start wrapping the excess around. You can use your flat nose pliers to ensure that those are tight together. I'm just going to wrap this around until I get that bead nice and tight in there. I'm going to snip the excess off. I have to use the other pair of snips that have the more point so I can get in closer. I like to cover it so it doesn't fly up into my face. And then I've got this little piece that's kind of sticking out there at the very end. I'm going to push that down with the needle nose or the chain nose pliers. I'm going to turn my links to where they're facing in the same direction and I have one link made. And I'm just going to continue that and I'm going to go rondelle, round, cube, and I have seven of each type of bead that I'm going to put on and I'm going to go seven links. Now I'm going to work directly off the chain. I'm going to put my bead on first, or di directly off of the spool, excuse me, of wire. And then this time I'm going to also put my first link on. So I'm going to make a continuous chain that cannot be broken because there's no gap in it. It's, it's wrapped around so tightly that it cannot be broken. So I call this the unbreakable chain. I'm going to leave, you know, some excess there to wrap around. 
I'm going to go ahead and use my round nose pliers again. Make that loop that I like to have there. I'm going to wrap it all the way around the other side until I get a nice little loop there. Then I'm going to push this other link into that loop. Don't forget that step or you have to remake this loop. So then I'm going to use the needle nose pliers to hold that loop and I'm going to wrap the excess around just like I did on the first link. And then I'm going to do the same step where I wrap this around until it's on there and I push it in flush and then I'm going to push that bead down. I'm going to snip this leaving excess so that I can wrap around, leave a little excess around the bead, bend it, wrap around to the end until I get all seven of each style of bead onto that chain and then it's going to look something like this. And we're going to have a loop at both ends so I'm going to show you how to make a clasp to finish this necklace off. So to finish our necklace off we need a hammer, an anvil, our chain nose, our needle nose pliers, our snips, some more of our 20 gauge copper wire and we also need a measuring tape. So I'm going to measure about one, maybe one and a quarter inch. I'm going to put a soft bend in it and I'm going to be making like an S shape my wire and I'm going to do that off the spool. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, the bend, so I can have like an S shape in the wire. always use your flat nose pliers to flatten out any mistakes that you make so that's good it's a good tip and I'm just gonna leave those bends kind of soft in that wire I'm gonna try and cut this off approximately the same side size as it is on the top with my snips. I'm gonna using my needle nose pliers, I'm gonna make a slight bend on each end of the S. So maybe like a quarter inch. Conversion rate is Really, the flat nose pliers do kind of help with shaping it better. And I just kind of want it to look uniform. got an S and then there comes my anvil and you can hammer it right on there if you don't mind the tool marks from the hammer and the anvil surface or so you just want to do that to harden it and flatten it out a little bit so that it won't bend hold on We're done with our hammer and anvil and we have this. So I have my clasp, it's a S shape and I've flattened it out with the hammer and that has helped to harden it. And I've got another little piece of wire that I'm gonna wrap around one of the ends first. I'm going to attach one of the ends onto here and then I'm going to start wrapping the 
this piece of wire around two of these prongs on the S here. Start it. Around loosely. Get two sets of pliers and just pull that loop tighter in. Now I don't want to pull it to the point where these two pieces are overlapping. So that's snug enough there. And I'm just going to wrap it until I've got a couple loops around. And then I'm going to use my snips and shorten or cut the rest of the excess off. And I'm going to end up with something like this. And this is my closure, so then whenever I want to close my necklace, I just use the other end that's not closed. I put it on there. I have that, and I can even lock my clasp by pushing it down and pushing it into the bottom of that other loop. So it's like a figure eight almost there. And That's it. We've got a stylus, stylish wire necklace that we created just by wrapping the wire around itself and stringing beads along it as we went. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jewelry Tutorial Tuesday here on my station, Jade Rhapsody, and please stay tuned for more jewelry tutorials. Thank you.